Ah, uh, is there a sweeter sound? I don't think there is. Welcome to part five in our video series about selling vintage print ads on eBay. I'm Marty going by Jiminy Flip It here on YouTube. If you haven't seen the other four videos in our series, then check right here. I'll put a quick link to them so you can catch up. But in this video, what we're going to do is discuss the shipping process for the print ads. I'll show you exactly how I go about pulling them from the file cabinet where they're stored, which was in episode four. I'll show you how I put them in a clear envelope and ship them so that they arrive safely for our customers. So let's go. All right, and here's the item that just sold. You could see our buyer picked up a 1968 Chevy fleet side pickup truck vintage print ad. As you recall from an earlier episode on listing, the SKU number right there, L159, that indicates that it's the 159th Life magazine that we ripped up and took some ads out of. So let's go find that L159, and we'll start the process of shipping this beautiful ad out to our customer. Well, our first move is going to be to head over to the file cabinet and look for L159. You can see I have my first cabinet set up for L1 to L166. So 59 should be towards the top. And there it is, L159. So let's open it up and we'll look for this ad, which was a 1968 Chevy. All right, and there's our ad, the 68 Chevy truck. Here's the uh, example of the clear envelope I use. You can see it's about 11 and a half by 17 and a quarter inches. So it easily accommodates these large life magazine ads. I place it inside. It keeps the ad protected because it's just a piece of paper. So it keeps it protected from dust and most importantly from any moisture. I just fold that over. I remove the resealable uh, tab right there, fold it over. That's nice and neat. It'll keep the paper protected. And now we're gonna place it inside of one of these large rigid mailers. You can see they're about 15 inches long by 13 inches wide. Accommodating my life magazine ads perfectly and it keeps them from bending. And now it's just a matter of placing the ad and it's protected clear envelope inside of that rigid mailer. Keeps it safe, keeps it from bending. Peel off the tab, close it shut with the glue adhesive and then I like to put a piece of tape on top of that just to make sure it's a, a good seal there and there we go it's all ready to ship now and that's all there is to it now we're ready to print out our shipping label you can see it goes first class it just weighs about seven ounces with one in there and that's inclusive of all that shipping material so it's on its way to its new owner and hopefully they'll be a very satisfied customer and that will do it for part five, the shipping episode. Coming up in part six is going to be everything else after the sale, tracking the shipping to make sure that our customers received the package and that they were satisfied with their purchase. We'll go through feedback. We'll go through following up some techniques that I use to try to get additional sales from existing customers. So again, I want to thank everybody for joining me today. Please give this video a big thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.